Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. So, a few months back, a viewer asked, could I provide a little bit more, share a little bit more about the van and what I take with me when I go on a trip out to the uh, field? And so, that's the purpose of this video. And what I'm going to show is I'm going to show you a little bit about the van, and then I'm going to show you about what support equipment I take with me. Um, I'm not going to go over the, the telescopes I have right now or that. This is basically about what I bring me uh, with me in order to have a successful outing in the field. So I think the uh, first thing we'll do is let's go inside and uh, take a look at the van. Okay, first of all, this is a what's known this is a Ram 3500 van, and Winnebago built what they call the Solus um, camper van on top of the Ram uh, chassis. So this is a 2021 Winnebago Solus, what we call the flat top because it doesn't have a pop-up uh, tent on the top. And again, what we have here is you know your basic driver passenger area. But uh, the great thing about this is these seats uh, will turn around. And then in the floor down there, you'll see uh, I can put a post for a table and then a tabletop in there. And uh, there's some uh, storage area up here. And up here I carry some books. Uh, Charles Bracken, Deep Sky Imaging Primer. Um, and of course, toilet paper is very important. And um, this van has a wet bath, so I have a uh, toilet and a shower facility here. So um, I really like that. Uh, so every few days I'll take a shower. Uh, this um, Solus will hold 21 uh, gallons of fresh water. Now, I don't really drink uh, out of the uh, fresh water holding tank. I, I bring supplemental water and then there's some more gallons of water down there and that's what I use for cooking and cleaning the lettuce and everything. And then I'll do another video on this but this is some of the camera equipment I bring with me. Um, but the key thing that we liked about this is that there was a lot of storage underneath and this is what is known as a Murphy bed so this can fold up and there have been times that I use it to go to like Home Depot or drop things off at uh, St. Vincent de Paul or Goodwill. Uh, so it's pretty good. And then, you know, you have, oh, there's Lori's bourbon down there. Um, counter space, um, plates, cups, cutting board, and then, uh, storage area on each side of the bed and of course I'm using Lori's space on this trip but you know why does she always wind up with uh, the larger storage area and then this is um, my side here so this is kind of the basic van there is a um, cooktop here Uh, which can come in handy, but mostly we cook outside the van. Uh, that's just our our preference. And then we have a refrigerator here with a very small freezer. So let's go back here. So this is all the support equipment and um, you might notice here I do bring bear spray. So on this trip uh, my first stop is going to be about 173 miles up the road in the Sierras to uh, a location known as Blue Canyon Airport near Nyack, California. The Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society has a permit to use that land and I belong to that uh, organization. It's a great organization. If you're looking to dry, uh, join a club in the uh, Sacramento uh, area, 
Uh, you might want to uh, look into SVAS, Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society. Even though I live in San Mateo, I decided to join. It's a Bortel 3 plus dark site up in the Sierra. It's generally good seeing up there, good transparency. So it's a great site. Now in the wintertime, it gets snowed in. But um, over on this side here, uh, th this is very important to me. This is my uh, Starlink setup. Uh, very important for um, being able to communicate if I'm out of cellular range. Oh, and uh, just to complete the note on the bear spray, since uh, I will be up in the Sierras, there are bears up there. I used to live up there in Truckee, uh, and I'm very familiar with bears, and uh, I just like to keep a little bear spray handy. Um, I travel with an extension cord and a... Um, a box for multiple outlet box. When I'm down at um, Riverside Astronomical Society's Goat Mountain Astronomical uh, Research Station, uh, I have power available to me on the pad, the concrete pad that I lease. So it's good to have those uh, two items with me if I do have uh, power. Uh, again, that's another great club. If you're down in the Southern California area, you might want to look into Riverside Astronomical Society. Their Goat Mountain Astronomical Research Station location in Landers, California. It's more of a three plus four Bortel area, but they have two clubhouses that, you know, with showers, toilets, kitchens. It's a really great club. And uh, they even open it up to people that are not club members to use the uh, the area for set up your telescope and that. But uh, check out their site, Riverside Astronomical Society. It's a great uh, place. Uh, so down here, these are um, my power sources uh, for this trip. Uh, so I have a Jackery 1500, Jackery 1000, and a Jackery 240. Now this um, 1500, uh, this will drive my Starlink 24 hours a day and then what I have here are three Balder 120 watt portable solar panels and so I've been able to um, use these three jackeries to conduct uh, everything I need on a uh, remote trip where there's no power available uh, this van also has a 2800-watt uh, uh, generator uh, that I could use as well uh, if I need even additional power. But this scheme of the three jackeries to drive my two mounts, and then this will drive the Starlink and probably one mount. Um, and then I use one inside uh, to run my computers uh, when I need to run for you looking at images or if I'm running pics inside on my one of my laptops or whatever. And I'll do a separate uh, video on the compute devices that I take on a trip. Um, I've switched over to a grill. I used to have a bigger Weber Q grill and I've got this Spark Camp Grill and it runs on a butane. Uh, it's been working out pretty good so far and some camping trips that we've had it out on. And then this here is the Bouge RV, RV 53 quart refrigerator freezer. You can run it in either refrigerator mode or freezer mode. I will run it in freezer mode and I will have a bunch of chicken, frozen chicken individually, uh, vacuum sealed in bags and uh, steaks vacuum sealed in bags, and that'll be my food source for this trip. I plan to go out about seven, eight nights if everything goes well. Uh, after Blue Canyon, I'm gonna go down to Red Rock Canyon State Park uh, outside of Ridgecrest, California. I'm gonna meet up with uh, Patrick uh, Kerrigan and Christian Ralph. So I'm looking forward to that trip, and there will be a video that comes out um, about that trip as well. And then um, over here, these uh, things I use mostly to level the van, but these little squares work out great for supporting my tripods in kind of soft soil. Uh, so that's a good uh, thing to have. Uh, most times I don't have to level the van, 
but I basically just use these underneath the feet of my tripod and it's been working out pretty good. And then in here is the uh, dew shield, aluminum dew shield for my Celestron Edge HD8. The way the weather looks down where I'm going, both up in the Sierras and down in the desert, uh, dew is not going to be a, an issue, but I bring it along anyway with me. Uh, so let's just take a quick look inside. Uh, I already have my EQ6R mount in this cardboard box. And then back there is my uh, HEQ5 uh, mount. And then over on this side, I have my tripod for the EQ6R mount. And then back over here somewhere, let's see if we can, uh, is my tripod for my HEQ5. Oh, and I don't want to forget, I have a couple of, um, couple of covers, one for each telescope uh, to protect it uh, during the daytime. And, uh, and water is very important, so I bring uh, plenty of water as well. And then in case I am gonna stay at a, um, an RV site, which I may, in, Reg in Ridgecrest there is an Elks Lodge that I think has 15 RV spots and I will probably go there at a minimum to pay a donation and then dump and refill with water um, probably uh, Thursday uh, of uh, next week is when I'll stop in there and I'll replenish, I'll dump my gray water and then I'll uh, fill up with new water. And um, then over here, uh, this is just uh, a energy management system if I'm plugging into 30 amp power in the RV location and then there's the cord for that and then in the white bag is what uh, I need to be able to dump uh, if I go to a dump station. So that's about it what I take. Um, of course I take a bunch of food and uh, uh, with me and then I take my computer compute devices and then all my cameras. I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to knock this video out and kind of satisfy that request that from several months ago of sharing a little bit about the van and what I take along with me. So if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up as always. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you're an Amazon shopper and want to help support the channel, if you use one of our links to go to Amazon, and you buy something within 24 hours, even though it's not the item at our link, we have an affiliate marketing relationship with Amazon and we get a few pennies in return at no additional cost to you. So hopefully you'll check out our Amazon links when you have a need to go to Amazon and that'll help the channel a bit. All right, wherever you may be in the world, I hope you have clear skies. Other than that, till next time.